Good afternoon and welcome back to the workbench here at Scale Models Midwest. This is David in Altoona, Iowa. It's Saturday afternoon and I hope you're having a great weekend. I know I am. Just wanted to show a few things off to you. I'm a few days late for getting the midweek update out. My apologies. I'll be working on another video tomorrow uh, as I start building another kit. You'll be following along with me as I do that. But for now, just showing you a completed kit that I got done. The 1983 Pontiac Le Mans driven by Kale Yarborough, number 28, Hardy sponsored, and from Rainier Racing. This is one of the, again, Salvino JR's uh, model kits. I had not built a Pontiac Le Mans before, but uh, I really like it. It's a nice kit. Went together really well. I still think, um, with the exception of, of course, the Dodge Chargers, I think that the mid 80 Chevy Monte Carlos, like the one I did for Junior Johnson Race and the Pepsi Challenger, I think those have the best lines out of all of them. But you know what? The Pontiac Le Mans not a bad looking ride either, especially when you got them in the right decals. Uh, one of my commenters said they wanted to do up a Tim Richmond model. They do actually have a 1983 Pontiac Le Mans driven by Tim Richmond. It's out in the stores now, just as this one is. So go out and buy that and build it. It's a great looking kit. I'm actually looking at it right now in my stash and I think, you know, someday soon I might put that one out and build it. I like Tim Richmond myself. But for this one, got it together pretty quickly went together really quickly and easily as well just had a couple little things to tinker with I still have to tinker with the right height on this just a bit so it's even on all sides but it does roll it does really well the front nose piece the uh, grills just pushed in it doesn't even require glue uh, I wouldn't suggest doing that but for me I'm just press fitting it into place I may pull them out and use uh, ultra thin cement for that to keep them in place but it looks great I really really like the way that grill looks uh, it's nice to have something that's not chrome all the time this one I ended up painting a, uh, a gunmetal and then used a Molotow pan just around the headlamps just kinda give you a little bit of a, a look like what you see on the box art itself uh, as you can see right there Anyhow, another one of those two-tone masking jobs I think did pretty good. The uh, kit itself, I left the air cleaner loose. The interior, the chassis, that all went together really well. Those of you who are building these kits, make sure that when you're building them and, and painting them, the dashboard has two bars, and I still have to reposition those, but you want to make sure that you paint those the same color as you do the roll cage and chassis assembly. So I've usually seen them in the pictures. So just make sure you do that. Otherwise, you're gonna probably paint your dash top black and those black and you put them in, you're just gonna look a little out of place. But, you know, build the kit the way you feel like building it, the way that makes you happy. That's the way I'm doing on mine. Again, really nice looking lines. Um, the hood itself, there's instructions called to cut off the pins. I still need to tweak this just a bit so it sits more level but uh, otherwise it looked really well kit like I said really nice kit nice paint detail inside I'll have pictures at the end of the video as well overall I like it it's a, it's a really nice kit so um, again something like this suits your style go out and build it I know that uh, a couple of the hobby shops that I go to here in Des Moines and uh, up in Ames they have these very kits on the shelf. You can also get them through Model Roundup and uh, other online retailers. Check them out. These are good kits to have and good kits to build, so highly recommended. Give you a moment. I'm going to set it for the next shot. Be right back. All right. All right, so the next kit that I've got on deck starting Sunday morning is going to be this one. Salvino JR 2022 NASCAR Next Gen Camaro ZL1. I'm excited for building this because I've been watching Lucas C's channel I also watched HPI guys as he built his kit, and this kit is a tour de force of design and parts count uh, detail, and uh, it just looks great. Of course, there are some people who have stated that there are little things missing here and there. I'll try addressing those as I build the kit, but seriously, this kit is fantastic. I highly recommend that you go out and build it. I've already seen one person post that they saw it on model roundup for actual purchase not for pre-order so they may very well be hitting the stores uh, as we speak if they are go out and buy a couple of these kits 
hoard a few if you want, but build a few of these kits. Um, these things just are fantastic. I can't wait to see what ones come down the pike. But for now, yeah, I'm going to build the rollout one. Uh, I'm going to hold off on the number nine, Chase Elliott, much as I like it. Um, I just like this one. And I got a couple spares that I'm going to again put on the shelf and save them for later. But this one, I'm going to build, like I said, pretty much box stock. That means I'm going to basically sand the body, uh, starting with 3200 grit, all the way up to 12,000 grit, polish it, get the decals on. Um, there's been some issues about people saying they have trouble clearing them. I personally have not had problem clearing the decals. If you do a very light mist coat to seal a decal, and then a couple of heavier wet coats, that works great. I do that with Tamiya. I've seen some people do that with 2K Clear. But this one, um, you know, it's been recommended by the people at Selvino Share not to use clear, and likewise not to use CA glue. We're going to use Tamiya Extra Thin Cement Quick Setting. So, um, you know, start with me on Sunday, and we'll go through this build together and see how that one looks. So, um, wish me luck. It's a pretty cool kit. Got a couple other ones to show you. Give me a few moments. So one thing I've always recommended to people when they're building kits, and especially the ones I've been talking with as of recent, if there's a kit you see in the store that you don't normally see and you like it, buy it. Even if you don't build it right away and you want that kit, it might not be there two weeks from now. It might not even be there a week from now. Case in point, this kit right here, Aoshima Fair Lady Z, or here in the States, a 240Z. And I bought it for one reason and one reason only. Actually, two reasons. One, I love the 240Z. I think it's just one of the most beautiful cars out there. But fender flares. I mean, come on. Having just built that Mustang, I'm looking at these fender flares and I'm thinking, oh yeah, very nice. The fender flares come separate from this kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try and make molds of these fender flares and see if I can adapt them to future kits. Um, and then I'm going to build the kit. The guy that was unboxing them, literally, as I walked into the store during my lunch break, had a couple of these, had a couple of Japanese police cars, had a couple of the old-style Skylines. I mean, we're not talking about the Godzilla Skyline from the 90s on up. We're talking, like, from the 70s and 80s. I was so tempted to buy one of those. But I'm actually going to go back to that hobby store tomorrow. If I see that they're still there, I think I'll pick one of those up. Because Skylines, I mean, come on, Godzilla. The car is just fantastic, no matter which ones you buy. Uh, plus, I found my uh, old Skyline, uh, I think, uh, 32A up on my shelf. So I'm going to have to show it to you on a future uh, hoard or stash update. Got a couple more to show you. So the same day that I went and I picked that one up from the hobby shop, I got this in the mail. And this one is not in the stores right now. I just got this a few days ago. Uh, this is the Kyle Larson 2022 Chevy Camaro Z01 from Salvino's JR. And yet again, another kit that is just absolutely awesome. I'm sure um, I have not opened it. I will open it eventually but again it is not in the stores just yet uh, as a member of the Salvino's JR uh, modelers group uh, when you're a member of that you commit to buying model kits from them directly you get first crack at them as they come out and then they show up in the store shortly after so they will be there um, this one I'll probably build after I build the uh, rollout one but I really have set my sights on working on that uh, Ron Keselowski Charger. I've been meaning to do that. Now that I've got most of the stuff together that I want to do to build that, I'm going to actually build that in tandem with the rollout Camaro. So a couple of days I'll work on the rollout Camaro, a couple of days I'll work on the Charger, and that way I kind of keep uh, my interest up on both of those, and I'll give you updates periodically for each. But again, this is great. And another perk of being a member of Salvino's Club is that they always give you extra decals. You can never be without extra decals because there's always going to be someone saying, hey, anybody got an extra decal sheet? Or these decals, if you mess up, you got an extra one to fall back on. These, um, they are for this Hendrix kit. So uh, hopefully I won't have to use an extra set of decals and I'll just put them in my file folder in case anybody ever needs them. 
but still, that's awesome. One more item to show you, and then I will go for the afternoon. Got this in the mail the very same day that I got that kit, and the same day I purchased the uh, Fair Lady. Shop cards. Through Vistaprint, I ordered up two types of cards. These are my first ever shop cards, so I hope these look nice. Um, I've got a list of about 15 people that would already like some of these shop cards. So when I leave here, I'm going to run over to Staples or whatever and pick up a bunch of envelopes so I can get these mailed out to you guys. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. These are free. If you'd like one, please email me. My email address will be in the description. Uh, I would love to get these out to you. As you see, these are two of the more recent builds, the Super B and the Flared Mustang. And then, of course, the one from my, uh, I don't know if I'd want to call it Headshot or Channel uh, Avatar. It's the uh, Foose Ford F100. One of my favorite kits of all time. I love this kit. I've got extras, and um, someday I'm going to build them in different colors. But, uh, yeah, it's just a sharp kit. It's got my email address on there, uh, my YouTube channel, Scale Models Midwest. Just pretty simple. But uh, again, as I get better at designing shop cards, I'll have another one out. These I've got about a hundred for each. So uh, if you'd like one again, drop me a line. I'll send you a card or both of them. So with that, I don't really have anything else for this afternoon other than, again, hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, I'm certainly having a great one. I can't wait to start tearing into the Camaro model tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned and with that as always. You see a kid out there that you like, like I just said earlier, buy it because it might not be there the next day or the next week. Then build it and show it off to people. And as always, if you'd like to show some of the kits on our channel, go on ahead and send me some of the pictures of what you've built. And I'll be more than happy to post those on for you. Have a great weekend. We will see you in the next video.